Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Lunch Break is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a credit card thief wanted by the Lee County Sheriff's Office, the Deep South bracing for rare snowy conditions, and more. Today is Friday, December 8th, and this is the Lunch Break. The Lee County Sheriff's Office is searching for a man who attempted to rack up almost $6,000 in fraudulent charges after stealing several credit cards. A victim of the theft was shopping at the Marshalls in Gulf Coast Town Center on November 3rd when she received a call from her bank that possibly fraudulent charges were being made to her credit card. That's when she realized that her wallet had been stolen at some point during her shopping trip. A record of the charges revealed that the suspect used one of the victim's credit cards to successfully make a purchase of over $1,500 at Target in Coconut Point around 4.40 p.m. that same day. He attempted to use other stolen cards from the stolen wallet to make another large purchase, but they were all declined. A surveillance camera captured footage of the suspect leaving the Target with some of the items he successfully purchased before the cards were shut down. Anyone who has any information and would like to remain anonymous can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS or can go online at southwestfloridacrimestoppers.com. A community service aide for the Lee County Sheriff's Office was arrested after allegedly impersonating a law enforcement officer and committing sexual assault. LCSO arrested Yvonne de Jesus Moreno on charges of sexual assault, false imprisonment, battery, and impersonating law enforcement. Moreno was a civilian community service aide for the department. Community service aides are employed by LCSO to respond to non-emergency cases, but are not sworn deputies. According to the release, Moreno was on his shift Thursday and approached the victim while impersonating a law enforcement officer. Moreno then allegedly detained the victim and forced her to perform oral sex on him. The victim reported the assault to authorities after leaving the scene. Moreno is currently in the Lee County Jail, according to the LCSO arrest database. He was booked into the jail shortly after 1 a.m. on Friday. Snow fell across parts of the Deep South, causing Southerners to panic and rush toward the grocery store, even as forecasters predicted accumulations would quickly melt. The forecast called for a mix of rain and snow across several Deep South states, and parts of Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, and Mississippi all reported snow flurries before dawn. In Georgia, nearly two dozen school systems closed ahead of the wintry weather. The threat of even half an inch of snow in the forecast was enough to alarm a region that doesn't see regular snowfall. Forecasters said the biggest chance for snow was along the Interstate 85 corridor from Alabama crossing Georgia through Atlanta and into South Carolina once temperatures begin falling. The Weather Service warned that black ice was possible on the road Saturday morning with low temperatures dropping into the 20s. Georgia road crews took no chances ahead of Friday's morning rush hour and pre-treated bridges and overpasses. But if you're taking a trip out of Florida this weekend, drive carefully. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. For your twice daily news fix, head over to the Naples Herald YouTube channel and subscribe. Leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts on the news or what you'd like to hear about. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.